if you're losing tracking while scanning an item, most likely it means your markers are not placed correctly. The scanner can easily see markers that are placed from top down view or parallel to the scanner. Once you start to tilt the scanner to its side, it can no longer see the markers. So you must keep the markers placed within view of the scanner. Normally it's about a 45 to 130 degree from top down would be 90. Once you start tilting to the side, you get to about 45. Once you go below that, it's unable to see. What you do to fix this problem is you need to add some marker items. I use these, which are just 65 degree plates. I think they're 60. Placing them on the sides allow you to scan from that angle. So now you can do your top down scan. And then as you start to tilt, it has these markers at this angle, which allow it to scan from the sides now. The main trick here is to focus on the markers, since that's what it's using for tracking. If it does not see the markers, it will not scan. So make sure you're at a correct angle to the markers. The markers happen to be a very important part of the scanning process. This is how that scan came out. I scanned it laying on its back. Then I placed it on its side and did a scan. Then I flipped it and did another scan of the other side. Then I combined all three scans together. Just like something like this keyboard, there's nothing for it to track since it's fairly large and it's blocking most of the markers that are on this plate. But if you add markers around it, then what you will be able to do is scan these markers on the outer edge of the keyboard. And by scanning the markers on the outer edge of the keyboard, some of the scan is picking up on the center. And you'd be able to scan the entire keyboard by using this method. And again, the focus is to be focused on the markers, not the actual item, because the markers are what you're using for tracking. And I know on this back side, there's not enough markers, but it may work if I move up just a little bit. So there, as you can see, just by focusing on the outer perimeter, I was able to scan this. When using laser scanners, markers are very important. It's the way that they track it's how they keep everything together. So remember to place your markers correctly and make sure they're within view of the scanner and everything should track fine. This is scanning the front and back of an item that's thin. Ideally, I would scan this from top down and try to get some of the edges. And then I would flip it over and scan the other side. But let's say that you're scanning this standing up. If you're to scan this and try to scan one side, 
you might have a couple of problems trying to bring it over to the back side. As you can see, it does a little bit, but it's not perfect. The method of fixing that is you simply need something to track that's going to tie in the back side to the front side. So all I did is put these plates on the side. So what I can do is scan down. And then I can scan the plate that I put on the back side. And this gives me enough that I can bring around from the front side to the back. And you just use that plate to pivot back around. And now you're able to scan the front and back side of an item that could be thin. So that's how you scan an item that could possibly be a thin item that you want to scan front and back. Remember if the item is too thin and it's flexible. You do not want to move the item by flipping it over as it will shift and the scans will not line up.